What's up guys? It's Crystal here. I'm back with another review video for you guys and disclaimer in the beginning as always this video is not necessarily a sponsored video. However, I did receive this product as a gift. I recently joined YesStyle's influencer program so I do have my own specific code which I'll put right here on the screen. It's peachy crystal all caps without the e and I believe that if you do use my code in your checkout at YesTile, you'll do get a certain percentage off, I believe. I will have the links to certain things from YesStyle in the description box below. However, it is going to include my, my specific link in there because I do get a small commission from YesStyle when anyone uses my link. And if you don't really support that kind of program, like commissions or whatever, then you can always erase my name, PG Crystal, from the link. I won't be offended. Regardless, I still am thankful for anyone who even, you know, checks this video out or whatnot. So I totally understand if you don't support it, uh, you could just erase my name from the link. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It doesn't really matter to me. But yeah, so without further ado, let me go ahead and just talk about the specific product now. I received a couple of skincare products, so I am going to review some of them here on my channel just so that you guys can get a better understanding of some products that aren't as you know widely known that I received from YesStyle. So yeah, one of those products, I am rambling so much, but one of those products is this toner right here. But this is the Keep Cool Soothe Toner. And you can get this product on YesStyle.com for $31.90 and it has 350 milliliters of product inside. This toner does contain 85% bamboo extract, which adds moisture, freshness, and soothes skin troubles. This toner does have a pH level of 5.5, which matches the skin's normal pH levels to maintain the healthy skin balance. It is suitable for sensitive skin, dry skin, and oily skin types. The main purpose of the toner is to calm the skin with the use of bamboo water, protects the skin while minimizes pores through the photo green shower, hydrates the skin with low and high molecular hyaluronic acid, and allows the moisture to be absorbed easily into the skin through polyglutamatic acid. So how do you use this product or when do I incorporate this product? I'm sure most of you guys already know that it's a toner. So you basically can use it morning and night, which I did use it morning and night for three weeks straight. Um, and I use it right after cleansing. And I did at first apply it on my hands, but I felt like my skin actually preferred it more when I drenched a cotton pad and gently wiped it all over my face and then pat the remaining toner into my skin until it was fully absorbed before I moved on to my next skincare uh, product. But yeah, that is what I did for the last three weeks. And I'm going to go ahead and roll my clip of my first impression and how my skin progressed for three weeks as I used this toner. So today I am going to be trying the Keep Cool and Soothe Toner Bamboo Toner for the first time and I just took a shower, cleansed my face. So this is what my skin looks like at the moment. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so I'll be trying this today. And for this reason, I'm going to use a cotton pad. Normally I like to use my hands for the mornings and for days that I don't wear makeup or go outside that much. But just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna use a cotton pad for my first impression today. And let's do it. So it's, pr it's pretty watery. And it doesn't, it doesn't really have a scent, so I'm just gonna swipe it all over my face. So there is parts where it's like really, really itchy. It's a little bit stinging, um, but I think those parts are thinner than usual just because it's been super itchy lately. But other than that, pretty soothing. Feels a lot like water, really lightweight. Feels refreshing to be honest. The cotton pad, yeah. <laughs> And I really like that it has no scent. I'm just going to pat it in. So this is what my skin looks like right now. Very, very hydrating. My skin feels really refreshed and quenched, I guess. Not heavy at all. Super lightweight. Honestly, feels like water. 
and I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my skincare routine and then tomorrow morning check on my skin to see how it's doing with the toner because my skin has been looking like this for the past like week and a half so we'll see how the toner works basically there's not really any new breakouts most of this has already been here uh, the only thing I can say that my face feels really really dry so uh, I don't kn I know it's not because of the toner just because my face has been dry lately but I it, it doesn't really keep your skin hydrated throughout the night but it is kind of a downer just because it was super hydrating before but yeah I think maybe my skin just absorbed it all and now it's just dry um, but yeah like so far not too bad not much that I can save for the first impression besides the fact that it didn't break me out so I'm going to continue using the toner for three weeks and we will see how that goes all right so now that you guys know my first impression of this toner and how my skin looked Throughout the three weeks that I tried this toner, I'm gonna talk about my three week impression of the toner, which is fairly short, I think, because yeah, I guess I'll explain more um, as I go down the list, but as always, let's go ahead and talk about what I enjoyed about the product or the pros. So the first thing I wanna mention is that it is very lightweight. If you can tell in the bottle how it shakes, it kinda looks just like water. It's not thick at all. So very lightweight on the skin. It absorbs very quickly into the skin. It does truly help get rid of all the gunk on the uh, skin as well, when, especially with a cotton pad because after I cleansed my face and whatnot, I used this and wiped over my face and I still had some leftover stuff on the cotton pad which was surprising because that usually never happens. So it really does pick up the extra stuff that's left over on the skin that didn't get washed out the first two cleansing times. Um, as you can tell, it is also very hydrating. Like I said, kind of looks like water and whatnot. And it is really, really refreshing and soothing like the description boasts. And most importantly, it didn't cause any acne. I don't want to say that it didn't, like I don't want to say that it prevented acne, but it definitely didn't cause any acne and it helped kind of calm my skin down whenever it felt like inflamed. So roundabout product, pretty decent. Now that we talked about what I liked about the product, let me go ahead and talk about what I didn't really enjoy about the product. Um, it's not very long, just two things. So the first thing I want to talk about that I didn't really enjoy about the product is that it kind of like, it just feels like water. It doesn't really feel like it's something special that's on the skin or anything like that. Like it genuinely just feels like water on my face. And yeah, it did soothe my skin and it did feel refreshed at that moment. But in the long run, I felt like it didn't really do much after that it was just like the initial feeling of putting it on every time uh but like it's not a decent long-term toner you know like throughout the day kind of toner and another thing i want to mention going off of what i just said is that i actually had to layer this product on just for my skin to feel really really satisfied in terms of dehydration my skin is has been really really dehydrated lately so I just felt like I thought this product would really, you know, aid in terms of dehydration uh, and dryness, but I actually had to layer it on like three to four layers of toner every night and morning just to feel like my skin was quenched. Cause like I said, the initial feeling of it on my skin every time I applied it was really, really nice. But throughout the day, my skin just felt like it was drying and drying and drying out. I just had to like layer it on my skin just to feel satisfied that it was doing something for my skin like hydration wise. I feel like it'd be a really, really good toner for the summer, but for the winter or you know, all my really dehydrated or dry skin friends out there, this toner, pro it, it doesn't really do it for me. So I, I I think it's perfect for the summer for sure. Or if you have really oily skin and you want a toner that won't like weigh your skin down, this is a really good toner for that. But honestly, it just kind of felt basic. It didn't really feel special or it didn't really make my skin feel special or look that special. It just was the feeling of it, the initial time you put it on, like the first time you apply it on. Not the first, first, first time, but I'm talking about like every time you put it on, it's like, oh, it feels nice. But then after a while, it just kind of 
just feels dull like my skin doesn't look dull it just feels dull you know like i don't know if i'm explaining this correctly but that's how i feel about the toner um all in all I feel like this toner is more worth it if you put it in a spray bottle and you spray your skin as a mist throughout the day or if you're one of those people that like to drench like five cotton pads or like the five layered cotton pads and stick it on your face as like a point sheet mask but other than that like as a normal toner it doesn't really feel worth it to me uh, especially for the price you know like $31 for this toner you can find a cheaper toner that does a lot more than this toner So it was kind of a bummer. I in in terms of if I recommend it or not I actually don't think this toner is quite worth it like as nice as it felt the initial time every time I used it It just doesn't really feel like it does like much like it, I feel like it's not worth it for your money you know, there are cheaper toner alternatives out there that does or really makes an impact on your skin and if you want to know what toner that I highly highly recommend you can always ask me in the comment section down below but this toner is not one of the toners I recommend I've tried toners out there like other toners that I really fell in love with and unfortunately this one was kind of just like meh for me so yeah a little bit sad but you know um it was quite the experience i mean honestly it still does what it kind of says it does so it's not all is lost kind of product but i just think that there's better toners in the market for a cheaper price so yeah that is my thought on this toner right here i'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here if you do have any questions definitely leave them in the comment section down below if you found this video really helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so 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 much for watching bye